Now, unfortunately, there is one kitchen gadget you have to have in order to make energy bites, and that is a food processor. It is not an optional tool, unfortunately. Um, I, I went for years looking longingly at energy bite recipes without a food processor. <laughs> Until finally we got one. And of course, I got a, a regular home one for the restaurant and, and uh, wore two out within one year. And uh, so we had to go for the gold and actually get a commercial one. <laughs> so, have no fear. You don't have to buy a monster like this one. But that's what this is. <laughs> this is a commercial one at home. But the, the energy bites work perfectly in a home one. I wish, I wish I'd known I was doing energy bites today, but I didn't decide to do it until 30 minutes before I came. Uh, so it's kind of a last minute decision. But if I had, I would have brought my one at home. My food processor at home is a little bitty thing that holds mm -hmm. less than two cups, okay? Yeah. And I can make this recipe in it. I just have to cut it uh, into quarter. Uh, where the recipe you're looking at, I don't have it. You know, like it says one cup of apricots, one cup yeah. of dates, one cup of almonds, one cup of coconut, right? Right. If you're using a little bitty two cup food processor like I have, you do a quarter cup of everything. Okay? So a quarter cup of almonds, quarter cup of apricots, quarter cup of dates, quarter cup of coconut. Okay? So you can adjust that recipe for your size of food processor. Uh, when we do at the restaurant, we do two cups of everything. <laughs> we can get a big batch of this night. Like, but, uh, I'm going to show you a smaller batch. Now let's make sure it's off. It isn't. <laughs> we almost turned on another machine. <laughs> All right. <coughs> All food processors work basically in the same way, and that is they have one blade at the bottom that just goes around, and that is your chopper blade. That's the blade that you need to do the energy bites. So it doesn't matter how big or small your food processor is, uh, if it's got one of those blades on it, you're okay, all right? But don't do it in a blender. By all means, <laughs> you won't have energy bites. You'll have some kind of strange apricot almond paste. <laughs> <laughs> Spread it on bread or something, you know? <laughs> be really weird. Okay, so what's the first thing that goes in here? Dried apricots. Dried apricots. apricots. Okay. Apricots. Let's see if I can find the box everything in it. Uh, we always use organic dried apricots. Uh, you can use any kind of dried apricot, okay? Uh, I know here they sell organic um, dried apricots that are not sulfured and all that uh, from in the bags by the Now Company. Those will work just fine. Uh, you can even use apricots from the grocery store and it'll work, okay? Any kind of dried apricot. Uh, this bag in particular came from Costco just because it's a bigger bag. <laughs> um, but all dried apricots will work. Some of your dried apricots are going to be drier than others. Uh, your drier ones, you'll just have to add a little bit more water at the end to make it stick together. And the wetter ones, you'll have to put less. So that's the only change. And the same with your dates. Some dates are drier than others. So you just adjust your water accordingly. If you've got juicy apricots and juicy dates, you won't have to add any water at the end. Okay. Let's see, I have heard it. So we're gonna do the one cup of everything. Let me put on some gloves, because that's what I always do when I make this recipe. I don't do this at home, I only do it at the restaurant. But uh, since I'm not cooking the recipe, we're gonna do it with gloves. <laughs> the right finger too. Okay. Okay. Now when it says one cup, that doesn't mean one cup loose. That means one cup packed. Okay. Uh, so I actually smashed them into my one cup measuring cup. So I've got lots of apricots in here. Now you'll notice because they're not sulfured, they're not bright yellow. They're brown. Um, the sulfur is what keeps that bright yellow color 
Um, but these don't have any chemicals on them, so you don't have to worry. They also don't put any sugar in these either, which is nice. What do you think? We could probably put a couple more in there, right? If we smash it hard enough? <laughs> it's got to be good and tight, right? No air, no air pockets in there. So what's on those, Christine? Is it ascorbic acid? What keeps it? Nothing. The ingredient is apricot. <laughs> it's all it is. There, there's no preservatives. They're dehydrated. Yeah, they're dried. Now, if you leave these on your shelf, they will eventually mold. Okay. So I have to keep them in the refrigerator uh, because there is no preservatives on them. Okay. Um, so let's see. So we got our cup of apricots. And what's next? Nice. Cup of dates. <laughs> yes, cat. That is important. And you don't get enough dates in there, then they won't be very sweet. That's really sweet. Enough. Now, I buy pitted dates. You can use any kind of date. You can use daglet, you can use holloway, you can use medjool. Um, each kind of date is going to have a different <laughs> moisture content. Um, and so, like I said, you will just have to figure out accordingly whether you need to add anything at the end. I'll show you that when we get there. Now I buy pitted dates, but miraculously pitted dates sometimes have pits. <laughs> so we have learned <clears throat> the hard way to always cut your pitted dates and make sure there isn't a pit in it. Uh, so that's why I'm cutting them. Uh, one time we even cut them all and still missed a pit. Not sure how that happened. <laughs> so you could taste it? No. It, went in, the, it went in the blender and the blender sounded like there was a rock in it. Yeah. And uh, so, so, we, so we had to, we ha it blended everything but the pit. And so we had to go fishing. Fishing in a blender. Fishing in a blender to find the pit, yeah. We ended up having to pour it into a bowl and get a spoon and a strainer and strain that out. And we finally found it. So if you're going to go out and buy dates for this recipe, buy more than what looks like a cup of dates. Because once you cut them up into pieces and smash them into your cup, it's going to be more than you thought. <coughs> because dates especially, there's a hole in the middle, right? Sure. So if I just stack it on, it's half air. But if I'm smashy, then I know it's all date, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why we're going to pack it in. Now by cutting them in two like that, you're guaranteed to find the pit? Correct. Yeah, because sometimes the machine that pits them will accidentally leave the pit in. And so by cutting in half, you, you'll feel something hard in there if, if there's a pit in there. Have you found any? Uh, last week we found three. <laughs> With the same brand? Well, we get them by the 15 pound box, but in one week, we found three. That, yeah, it's all the same box. <laughs> so, yes, yes, they're definitely, it happens. The other thing, you'll find little stems. I've found one already. The little stem on the end of the date. You want to take those off too. They're not really edible. All right, we've almost got a cup here. Our hard part, oh, there's another stem. Our hard part's just about over. Do you remember what time you're supposed to take the potatoes off? When they're done. <laughs> no. I've got a timer in my head. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, it does. Yes, for you it does. <laughs> I'm sure this my is mom and I both. Rodeo. My mom and I both have timers in our head, and they're really annoying because they usually beep about 20 seconds before the actual timer does, and. Uh, so we like panic. Is it? Did the timer ring? And we go look, and oh, 20 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, my mom's and my timers and our heads will both go off at the same time, and we'll both panic. Okay, so there's our cup of packed dates. It's packed so nicely they won't come back out. All right, so what else goes in here? Salt, almond, 
Almonds. Almonds. I'll throw my stem away before it <coughs> doesn't want to be thrown away. <laughs> okay. Go. Carry on. <laughs> All right. Almonds. How much almonds do we need? Yeah. Yeah, right? Cup of everything. I have a feeling these almonds are going up on the floor. Now, you don't have to pack a cup of almonds. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it just has to be a cup. All right, cup of almonds and what else? Shredded coconut. Okay. Now, you'll notice there's an optional ingredient on there. You see what the optional ingredient is? Ginger. 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 Now, it was not in what you ate because the ones we make at the restaurant, we don't put it in. I've thought about doing it though. But whenever I make it at home, I always put it in. All right, you can, the best is with fresh ginger. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, you know the fresh ginger you can buy in the store, right? All you have to do is peel it off and get one of your little carrot graters, grate it really small, and uh, add that in right now. And oh, it's amazing. And if you, especially like during cold and flu season when you're trying to fight sickness, ginger is amazing anti-inflammatory. It builds your immune system and it just really adds a uh, pop to flavor to this. Um, if you don't have fresh ginger, you know those the dried crystallized ginger pieces that you can get. They sell them here. You could throw one or two of those into it. And it's also really good. It's actually a different flavor than fresh ginger, but they're both really good. I've done it both ways. And it's amazing. Um, but of course, you can also leave it out. And that's what you had tonight was without it. Um, so I'm going to leave it out for this time. But uh, if you like ginger, definitely put it in. Okay? Chia seed. Oh, yes. We need chia seed. That would be important. How much? One tablespoon. Okay. I cheated. I put one tablespoon in here and brought it. So the tablespoon's in there. Is that a coffee bean grinder? It is. And I'll tell you, when you put one tablespoon in this big thing, it uh, throws it all around. But it doesn't have to be ground to powder. You just want it cut up a little bit. So it's all right. Now that was one tablespoon chia seed before it was ground. So if you're using ground chia seed, it's probably going to be closer to one and a half tablespoons after it's ground, because uh, it expands a little bit. All right, there's our chia seed. What else do we need? Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. There you go. So is that everything? Okay. So what we're going to do now, so let's make some noise over here. Almost done. All right. So now we just have to add the water. And it says what? Two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. Water. Let's see. Water. Here we go. And I have a tablespoon. So we're okay. Actually. Be sure it's not full of onion powder or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually is cornstarch. I don't think it hurt anything. I'm going to put it in my measuring cup though because I'll show you what I do. Actually turn it on and slowly drain the water in while it's mixing. All right. So I put the two tablespoons in here. All right. That's it. So now 
now let's find another pair of gloves. And I'll show you how much fun these are. <laughs> fun. Now this is when your kids want to get involved because they're like, Mom, can I have some? Because you don't have to bake these. You don't have to do anything to them. You can eat them right now. Um, I refrigerate them or freeze them to basically preserve them so that uh, they harden into a better ball. But, I mean, seriously, like, that's ready to eat. <laughs> She's <laughs> you can make them as small or as big as you want. If you're in a hurry and you don't want to form them into balls, just uh, put a piece of wax paper or parchment paper down and smash it into a dish and cut them in squares. And uh, you don't even have to worry about fiddling with balls. But we have fun making our energy bites. And uh, one of my helpers at the restaurant, her favorite thing is rolling balls. So <laughs> it's become her job. <laughs> She's so excited when I tell her we ran out. So anyway, that's it for those. I mean, as simple as you can get. Uh, you just have to have some kind of food processor. Um, any other questions on that? Uh, are you going to sell them that you brought? <laughs> well, let's take your question first. The, the Hawaiian energy bites. Yes. Uh, can you put chia seeds in them? or? You can add anything you want to any of them. Yes. You can put flax seed. You can put chia seed. Um, I know some people who are trying to get a little extra protein. They'll put protein powder in it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can literally add anything you want to it. Um, yeah, the Hawaiian ones that you had, I gave you the recipe, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but it's macadamia nuts and dried pineapple and coconut, and they're amazing. 